What's up everybody, this is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna to be doing the next level in my Dynasty Warriors 2, just kind of extra content walkthrough here. We're playing as one Shao on the Battle of One Dew. We're playing as one Shao on his forces. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. That's the dream, the hope. So thank you all so much for watching. This should be a good one. I think this should be a good one, maybe. Uh, it looks like my side has a pretty strong morale, fives and fours. They have fives and fours fours as well and then that dude randomly has two hmm. yeah the thing about this level is playing through it on one shao side should technically be easy because you want shao's forces are like really powerful so we'll kind of see if we can just kind of steamroll them as long as our supply compound doesn't fall but that's like hard for them to even get to in the first place so yeah Ron Shao is saying we'll hit them from the front, so I guess I'll just... I won't head that way first. I'm gonna head up towards the middle and get rid of uh, Shao Duin and Xu Huang. We have Yang Liang up at the top there. So, I mean, maybe we can win this pretty easily. I mean, I'm still gonna move around and help people, but I don't see it being like the Battle of Hulao Gate where your side just gets destroyed and then that's just kind of how it goes. I can see us doing well here, just because Wan Xiao has so many troops, and our morales are pretty high. So, and then hopefully as I defeat troops, I think that's my units that attacked, as well as, you know, Zheng He and a few other people are heading towards uh, Tao Tao's force there, so I think we should be fine. Again, this is all wishful thinking. Playing as Yuan Xiao should be better than playing as Diao Chan, because Diao Chan was, like, pretty garbage, so I think this should be uh, doable. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on here. I'm just going to kind of weaken some people a little bit. Slowly move my way towards... Um, whatever his name is. I think he's shooting along here. I'm going to try to get him to freaking notice me here. Oh, it's, it's Shallow Dune. Okay, here's your office, we do. Well, since it's not... I'm just gonna go for him, I guess. I'm like, you know. He's just standing there. Just out of frame. It's pretty hilarious. Alright, so, um, we'll just kind of keep working on people here. But yeah, no, the goal should be not, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, Yang Liang going up towards the dude with two stars is pretty great. That should make Yang Liang in a pretty good, uh, position to destroy everything up there. That's the hope, at least. You know, again, these are all, it's all subjective. We have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, probably know there could be way more stuff to do on the enemy side with a level like this. Even though when you're playing on their side, there's like nothing going on on the enemy side. You just, they just stand there. I mean, there was like catapults on the bottom part by, uh, Cow Cow, and that made it impossible for our side to win unless you like go down there and help. But I don't see that happening because that would require, like, maybe they do that, but I would probably need to be there, but I'm not going to go over there, because I want to rescue all my troops, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to keep working on Shaho Duin, and then, who the heck is this? Is that Shaho Duin's officer? Shu Huang is his officer, but that was not, that's Yujin. What are you doing down here? You shouldn't be here. You should be helping your side. <laughs> Whatever. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to try to kill Eugen because he's here, and I don't know why he's here, but he is. Um, I'm just going to keep working on him a little bit. We will turn away at the last second so I don't knock him down because you know how broken this game is with that. Archers are shooting me in the back of the face, so I need to, I need to be careful here. I always just should fight here, but you know, why not? Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep on trying to not die and get as much health as possible. Again, love that the bodyguards in this game drop health. It's just like the best ever that that's a thing in this game. Um, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So I'm gonna get rid of Yu Jin because I don't know why he's here. And that makes, I think, Yang Liang's time easier because I think he's the one fighting Sha Hu Yuan. So yeah, I'll just kind of do that. My units all are very strong, my bodyguards, because I am a commander. So that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna keep on working on Eugen here, trying not to let him ever hit the ground again. But Shaho Duin's putting pressure on me. He just hit the ground and then heals a million percent because I hate that. 
Um, just gonna keep on pressuring Eugen here. Get rid of him. Push him back because he's just gonna keep blocking forever, and I don't mind. And I'll hit him twice, Muso here, and then we should be good. This should get him. There we go. And jump on this Portugal pick. I am curious if Shu Huang is somewhere around here. Oh, I can't. I literally can't go in there. Wait, so I can't even go in. How did Yujin get here then? If, if that gate's open, then where did he come from? I don't understand that. But um, for now, I'm just going to kind of move around because the archers are all, of course, locked onto me because, you know, it's Dynasty Warriors and they, of course, will seek out the player even when it doesn't make any sense. As they're being swung at by other people, they're going to keep looking at me. Um, but I'm just going to keep swinging on my horse here. Make Shaho doing miserable because he's made me miserable, and even though he keeps recovering health, I don't care. Um, I think that might have been the last one though because he did an all a full healing, and I think that's when you know they're they're near the end of their health. Although he seems to just be running like an idiot, so I'm just gonna stand here and just keep swinging at him, and I'm blocking him away from my other unit so they can't knock him down. So this is pretty good. This is a pretty good setup we got going on here. <laughs> so we got him. Uh, that was freaking easy. So now let's leave this area. Actually, that gate might open, so I think I might just kind of pan around here so let's see what's going on. What is Yang doing in terms of... Okay, so he's actually getting kind of beat up, so I might need to actually go and help him, which is fine. I kind of assumed that would eventually happen. I would need to do that. So I'm going to come running here. What? Well. Well, that sucks. Oh my gosh, and Zhang He just defected? Wow. Okay, well, this just got way, way harder. So now I'm gonna have to do pretty much anything else to make it so we don't die. Wow. It's not expecting them just to s literally spawn in and kill our compound. That's kind of awesome, actually. Destroyed. How was I ever? I mean, there's no way to stop that. How would I have ever been able to stop that? There's no way. Um, yeah, we're here. We're just gonna. We're just gonna try to live, I guess. Oh, that was the commander? Oops, I got rid of the wrong one. I was wondering why Eugene was just running away from me, but it's because he was the person I was supposed to get rid of second. So, I'm still going to try to get rid of him because I want to. The level's already falling apart anyway. Might as well just... Might as well just do what we need to do. Anybody hit him. Oh, he 
use that for just being like a little bit. Alright, well now we'll head back up to the top part of the map and try to help out Wen Shao up there as I guess that's just what we need to do. I don't really know. This level got crazy difficult when they just spawned at our stronghold, killed it, and then killed everybody there, and then we just lost everything. So that was pretty nuts. Um, we fortunately did get rid of some generals on their side before that happened. I mean, I don't think there's any way, there's no way to avoid that. Like, there's nothing I could have done. So my goal is to just get to Wen Cho and then rescue him, take out Guan Yu before Liu Bei sees him and then despawns. Because if that, if, if the compound happened, then Liu Bei would definitely despawn if Guan Yu gets to him. So I have to uh, make sure Wen Chao stays alive and his little officer, ideally. And then we'll... Uh, Keep them alive, hopefully, and f finish out the level? <laughs> Question mark? Possibly? We might lose? I, I don't know. It's crazy stuff. Here, just keep on running by everybody and start working back the other way. As everybody ever pings that they see me, every single person, just keep on running past them all as best as I can, obviously, because then they're going to catch up to me on their little horses and make my life a little bit more difficult here. He's the one that has the two generals. Okay, so maybe I should... I honestly don't care. If, if, he, if I get rid of people out of order here, it's it's fine.
again. Didn't expect it to be this insane. But we're, we're trying. If I can beat all these people, I would be very impressed with everything. away at everything that's over here. There's just so much attacking me right now. I think it's because I'm the commander and they literally just came running to me over anybody else, which they should. I'm the commander, so it makes sense, but it's like, oh my gosh, everybody is attacking me. on a horse and get out of here. There's too many archers shooting me. So I'm just gonna go. Wow. see if I can actually do this without dying. Yes! Suck it, Zoom Shuju! Got you. Potentially moving away from them so that I can uh, not hit one of you down. He needs to die. Nice. One you dying was actually really important because now the Liu Bei won't vanish, I don't think, anymore, now that I did that. So that was freaking lucky. Alright, I'll 
crafting some arrows. Those those work. Oh heck yeah, we got a, we got a save point. That helps. That helps a lot. Man, this is a challenging level. Started off super fine, super easy, and then it just ramped up to infinity up in the difficulty department here. So now I'm just trying to live. Literally, it's just been a, a fight for survival. The whole match has just been me trying not to die. That's literally been all that we've been doing, and it has not been easy. So. Get rid of that stupid general right there, officer unit there, who makes me flinch, and then come running back up to you on Shao Yuan. Don't think anything else in this area. Oh, I seem to have spoken too soon there. Something made me flinch. I'm just trying to get rid of Shao Yuan. Basically, I want all the units to distract these people. But my units suck balls, and they're not helping me, so I'm just going to have to do this on my own again. As I've done everything so far. Um, I need to distract the units so that I can actually take out Shao Hu Yuan and then get out of here. But they're not letting me do that because they suck. Back up. Taking pod shots at Shao Hu Yuan. Because that's pretty much the only way I can do this. He just vanished into thin air because he got too close to me. Come here, Shao Hu Yuan. All right, we are just slowly getting rid of people. It's been a, a doozy of a round here. My units are all dying and dead and everything like that. Zheng Hei is getting destroyed wherever the heck he is. Well, he's not fighting anything. He's just standing there. Can I pull a thing where I just stand here and shoot Zheng Liao from a distance? Really? Am I going to do this? Get a couple shots in. Yes! getting it. We are uh, making some progress up in here. Now I'm going to get on this horse and run the F out of here. And I want to take out Zhang He down at the bottom part of the map. I just feel like I need to do that. Because he freaking betrayed me. And I was not expecting that. And it makes me wonder how that how did that even happen. But I don't really care. So... Who's left on their side, by the way? So they have, he has all four of his officers still. Dian Wei is still alive, and then Zhang Hei and Guo Lan. I don't know where Guo Lan is, and I don't really care. I'm just gonna go take out Zhang Hei, and then, then I'll go back and try to fight Cao Cao and Dian Wei and all the millions of people that are up there. But boy, this level got so challenging so quickly. It started off not that bad. I was like, yeah, we got this. Like, I'm assuming they'll, like, attack our st our compound at some point, and then we'll, uh, we'll save it. But they literally just destroyed it without me even having a chance to, uh, defend myself. So that ended. Um, it's pretty crazy that that was the way that went down. But then now, and then Zhang Hei and Go Land betrayed, and then Yang Liang died, and I think Wen Chao did too, yeah. They both died, so... Wen Chao died when I was fighting a thousand zillion trillion units up in the front. I was like, I could have just stood there and watched them die, but it wasn't, to me that wasn't worth it to try that. Like, I could just see that not working. And I was like, I just don't want to, like, watch another general die on my side, so I'm just gonna... not do, not do that. And now Leo Bay's moving, so that's kinda nice. I don't even, do I have any other generals? 
that dude has one star. You won't see it. Two. Everyone has no. Once the uh, fire thing happened, everyone just. I mean, it, everyone became completely terrible morale wise. So it's like. It's just up to me. I mean, that's just how it goes with stuff like that. Once you have a massive fire attack and everyone on your side plummets and morale, like, you can't really expect everything to go well. And it didn't. It didn't at all. So now that, that dude's done, I'm gonna go down here and get rid of Zhang Hei. Get some vengeance for Yuan Shang who died over here. I think to Zhang Hei, actually. Even though Zhang Hei literally wasn't just standing there and wasn't gonna do anything anymore. I. It's personal. Zhang Hei. Now randomly Cao Hong is here. I don't know what, where he just came from. I wonder if he just... I mean, they are hardcore trying to kill me. That's basically all that is happening now is everybody on the Cao Cao side, once it said, once the Cao Cao said everyone attack, they just go for the player forever. Or they just, I guess they really just go for Yuan Shao is really what it is. And so that's where it becomes insane. But like, my side... I mean, yeah, they got totally destroyed, but, you know, I have, like, a few generals alive, question mark, so, it's pretty funny, though. this level was hilarious, the, the complete destruction of my side was just unfortunate. That was rough. We lost, literally, I mean, everybody on my side's morale plummeted, except for me. I mean, like, Liu Bei hasn't done anything, and his morale is just one. Like, you don't spawn with one. I think everyone's morale on our side dropped two the second that, like, fire attack succeeded. We lost everything. Everyone lost two stars immediately. That was, and that's the worst. Seeing how most people on my side already was were in battles and lost a lot of stuff, that was just terrible. So now what I'm going to do is just walk around the map, take out gates, and then... From there, I guess we'll just slowly we'll enclose on a uh, cow cow and then kill him. But man, what a what a challenge! This level was, seemed like it was gonna be easy and then just one hundred percent was impossible. And we didn't get our little catapults or nothing. We didn't get any advantage on this level. But they they managed to get the one that makes more sense than anything else on this map, which was. Zheng Hei defected. That made more sense than anything else that was supposed to happen. So I'm like, it's crazy. Um, I definitely took out a few generals without taking out their officers. But I was like, when you're just when you're surrounded by like a thousand generals and somebody is low health, you're gonna take that person out. You're not gonna try to uh, be the hero and get the maximum experience when you're being attacked by like every general on the map all at once and sub general when every single person attacks you as the player. You are. You're not gonna think about it. You're just gonna try to, to live. That's all I was doing, was just trying to survive. You know, that's it. I think I honestly did pretty good. You know, I have Yuan Tan and Su Shang, Yuan Xi's alive, and Liu Bei and Zhang Fei are both still alive for now. Everybody could die in a second, because Dion Wei has eight stars. Cao Cao's not doing as well. He only has three stars, so I'm not like, that doesn't scare me. Like, I'm not scared that someone's gonna die to Cow Cow stuff. I am nervous that uh, Dion Wei's just random units that he barely, he has barely anything left, but his units would just stomp anybody who uh, gets close. So, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> I don't really know. It just got crazy though. But, getting rid of all the gates. I missed one, because there's one literally on the, no the compass, so that's kind of stupid. I don't know why I didn't do that, but that's fine. But I actually need to head back that way anyway, because that's where Cow Cow is now. He followed me, 
and went all the way down to that side of the map and now doesn't know what to do because I've been moving back and forth and now he's just standing deep into my area of the map because I think I just tricked him and now I'll go actually and fight him so that'll be fine. Yeah, but we're done with this for now. I mean, Liu Bei might die. I don't really know, honestly. And I just don't even know. I don't even know what happened. I mean, this was easily the craziest level that I've had so far. I just, I can't believe they, un that, 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 that script is even in this game. Like the fact that the fire attack succeeds out of nowhere. A general spawns there and just wipes out your general. And then your side just loses, proceeds to lose pretty much everything because your side plummets in morale and it becomes impossible to win without losing like 90% of your troops. Now granted, that is what would happen on this level. Yuan Shao was an idiot on this level. Yuan Shao had the army to win and then just over was overconfident and that's what led to his demise here. So it's like, it's historically accurate. Yuan Shao did not beat Cao Cao in life. So, it's not... You, you might as well make it a hard battle, because if it was like an easy battle, that wouldn't make sense. Because Yuan Shao is depicted in every... And he is an idiot. I mean, he lost. He had the army to win, and then didn't. So, they, <laughs> that's fine. You gotta make the battle worth a big struggle, and it really was. It really was. So, I'm gonna just run up to there, take out the last few people, finish this out. And then we'll uh, we'll call it a night or a day whenever y'all are watching this. So thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, watching me struggle and barely say any words because yeah, it was ins insane. So y'all great. Peace.